you will notice I am now on my P's. That says L, but that's because P is on the other side. Um, which is very exciting, so I can now drive myself places. Like to the train station, which is where we're going. I have to do this three times a week now. Uh, as of next week is when classes start. Um, I already don't like commuting. It takes like probably two hours to get to Melbourne. <sighs> but you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. vending machine cookie for breakfast because I'm more than a little bit late. Dear Sid, about three weeks ago or so, I started university, and it was really great. Um, we did like life drawing workshops with like real naked people, which was a little bit shocking at first, but you kind of get used to it. Um, and I used like charcoal for the first time, um, and it was just it was a fun time, you know. Um, I got my own little studio. It had such great lighting um and it was just pretty great and then they shut down hooray so um now i have this uh outdoor studio that you can see here um it's social isolation which is i mean for an introvert artist like me it's not like the end of the world um but yeah, so I've been doing a lot of art, because even though I don't have classes, I do have that creative urge, and I will have classes online at some point. I do believe they're just tr sort of figuring out what on earth to do, which is fair enough. I think that's what most people are doing. Um, so I've been using a lot of spray paint. I am technically in the drawing class, however, spray paint is fun, and there are no rules. So, that's what I've been doing. Here you can see me working on a piece I've made, I think about 12 or so pieces over the course of this week-ish. Um, that's like mostly spray paint on cardboard or on plywood or whatever. Um, which, I mean, painting on cardboard is very fun and it's a very sort of low pressure way to get started. Um, cause it's not like on a canvas where there's kind of pressure to make it special. It's like it's just a piece of cardboard and if you make it terrible then it's fine because it's literally, you know, cardboard is cardboard is cardboard. So, yeah, here you can see I'm continuing on this piece. It's pretty great. Um, I am sad that I don't get to see people though because people... As much as they're terrible, they're also pretty great. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I may, I guess this, this, you, Sid, I think you're kind of my people now. And I can, I can show people what I'm doing from the internet because we live in this strange digital world. Um, here I'm starting a new piece. Uh, an acrylic painting inspired by Slur. He's a, he's a dude on the internet. He makes art stuff. It's pretty great. Um, and he makes these like cool acrylic face faces. Um, so I tried something kind of like that. Um, I don't really do this kind of painting all that much where I actually sit down with a brush and actually mix my colors and and think about what I'm doing usually it's it's a bit like the previous piece where I just sort of splash and hurt for the best which I find to be more fun um, but it is nice to just uh, 
try and actually paint an actual thing. I mean, I don't know if this counts as an actual thing. It's like a blue blobby man, but you know, we, we do what we can. Um, yeah, I sped up this footage as much as I could. Um, but my video software only lets me speed it up to 1000%. So this is as fast as we can go, which I think is fine. We can, we can, we can deal with that. We can appreciate the time it took. I don't even know how much time it took, really. I don't really think about it. All I know is that I woke up, I made art, and now it's six o'clock. Um, it's a Tuesday. Uh, it's day two of, like, proper, proper, proper social isolation. Last week, I didn't go into uni, but, because it, it was still open last week, it's not open this week. They've shut everything down, and I'm a little bit sad about it, but I... Yeah, I didn't really do anything last week, but I have been seeing my friends, so I'm going to stop seeing my friends, and it's really sad, and, but, you know, it's for the greater good, I guess. Um, still have chicken friends and dogger friends and this blue man, which I guess is nice. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really know how I feel about it. There are pros and cons. Um... But I've been doing okay. How have you been doing? Um, because it's a bit hecka's, you know? End of the world and all that? Not the end. Just, just a blip. Um, it's fine. We're all gonna be fine. It's so fine. Look, this, this blue man is chillin'. We should all chill like him. That's how life should be. Just, just chill, you know? Just breathe and make art. I've been also making a lot of music. I've been I have a free digital audio software uh thing called Cakewalk, which is actually like the best. So I've been making all these weird instrumental tracks. I'll probably release them on Spotify and, and show you, I guess. Um when I've got enough of them to make an EP, I've got two at the moment, but I made the birth yesterday, so at the rate I'm going, I'll have an EP by the end of the week, um, which should be fun. Anyway, yeah, life is good. Life is weird. So this is like my art corner, um... I do work here, like, occasionally, but this is more just a storage sort of place. Um, cause I, like, sitting on the floor is it, it's, it's fine. I work more at my desk. Um, and also outside, which is where I've been doing all of my stuff. Um, cause the light's a lot better, like, the light's really good in, in the studio at uni. Um, and I find that I, like, this thing... It's okay, but doesn't be the sun. <laughs> I've been making a whole bunch, whole bunch of stuff, cause I'm basically in full social isolation now. So there's all of these, um, and then these as well. Um, if anyone knows me in real life and has, like, a bunch of cardboard or plywood or whatever that they don't want, uh, I would love it to paint on, so hit me up. <laughs> um, because I'm kind of running out, to be honest. Do you reckon they're gonna let me through the door? <laughs> I just I just wanna get to my painting stuff, but we have some friends. Oh <laughs> Hello Hello Oh oh Jerry Hi Jerry You're running. Ow! 
Maggart. <laughs> Well, this is my outdoor shooting area. Uh, sometimes I have friends. <laughs> uh, basically, I've just commandeered the entire outdoor table for my purposes. Um, and also most of the deck. Here's my, uh-oh. My little spray paint zone. Sometimes the cardboard falls over. This is my latest project, um, and here, here's what I was doing this morning, uh, and also this guy. Sup, dude. I might do some outlines or something on him, but I think he's pretty much done. Uh, and obviously, I've been very much enjoying spray painting, but also acrylic paint, just to mix is good. Um, and I have an excellent view. Look at all these trees. Yeah, I might photograph all of these, I think. Um, and probably put them on Instagram, so if you want a proper look, you can you can have a look there, and I'll pop them at the end of the video as well. So I kind of want to do another painting, um, so I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> this was when I experimented with oil paints, like, I don't know, ages ago. So I've just taped down little sections, and then I'm going to do something new over the top, and then peel it off, and just... See what happens. I think the peeling will be very satisfying. The <laughs> 